Következő hozzászóló. The next speaker for two and a half minutes is Madam Schalke. Thank you, Madam President, Madam Commissioner. Turkey is a key country and a long-term partner for us Europeans and in NATO. And as someone who has always defended accession, even against the current of public opinion, these are painful times. Painful because those who attempted the coup did no service to Turkey's democratic future whatsoever. They have rightfully been strongly condemned. Painful because the aftermath of the coup attempt has led to mass arrests that have taken place and have led to the center of European societies and opinion, traditionally the most in favor of good relations with Turkey and of accession, to turn away from Turkey's European future. I find that people simply do not see it happening anymore. Press freedom and the position of journalists are a key reason for the political middle in Europe to worry and to fear that Turkey has taken a turn not to return, a path of no return. This House, thankfully, has consistently voiced its concern and condemnation of the cracks in the rule of law, the lack of separation of powers, and the violations of human rights, and particularly press freedom and internet freedom. And even though the post-coup environment has exacerbated the pressure and has seen the emergency measures being adopted, the banning of books, the arrest of journalists, and the restrictions of press freedom and the stifling of oppositional voices has been systematic. The Gulen movement, now accused of plotting the coup, but previously a key ally of the Erdogan government, was instrumental in creating an environment of fear together with AK Party politicians. A climate in which critics were silenced, trials were unfair, and the gap between the letter of the law and its actual implementation grew and grew. President, as I said in the beginning, Turkey is and will remain an essential partner for us, and we must act in the interests of all its people. Despite the low point that we see, and that frankly is very, very disappointing, despite the bleeding of hearts both in Europe and in Turkey, for those of those who hoped that Turkey would move towards the EU, we have to continue as Europeans to focus on what's really important in our path forward and focus on the rule of law and human rights and particularly not be um, silenced because we want a migration deal only. Press freedom should be on the top of the European agenda. Thank you, Madam Schaka. The next speaker is Mr. Haji Gaudgyu for one and a half minutes. Thank you. There's a problem with the machinery. Thank you, Chair. What is happening today in Turkey is horrible. And the main thing that is happening 